Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice brisk 39 degrees out this morning. The birds are chirping. I think the piggies are still sleeping. Pork, you guys coming out? They're more aware of the new fence we installed the other day. Good morning, crazy white chicken. Morning, Figaro. While Willow and her kids are in the back milking room <laughs> using the pasture pig mobile as our hay storage for now. It's coming in pretty handy for that since we can't use it for the pigs yet. Come on in girls. Come on in Hope. I hear you, Willow. We're coming, we're coming. Don't worry, we didn't forget about you. Come on in, babies. We still need to come up with names. Figaro, what do you think you're up to? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Good morning, guys. Did you sleep good? You look all nice and cozy over here. Yeah, you do. Good morning, little pea. Yeah, good morning. You're nice and warm. Yeah. Are you cuddling good with your sister and your brother and your mama? Huh. Yeah, you guys are so friendly. Yes, you are. That's the way we want you. What are you doing, little man? You checking out the camera? Huh? Oh, you pouring at me, little pea, saying, hey, I want attention. <laughs> what are you doing, little pea? Huh? What are you doing? You cutie. I'd stay out here all morning if I could. But then everything else we need to get done wouldn't get done and Olivia wouldn't make it to school. Right, Hope? Right? Give them some hay. Hey, Figaro. <laughs> Figaro, are you playing on Goat Mountain? You think you're a goat? Hope, he thinks he's a goat. We had a well summer chicken that didn't want to sleep inside New York City last night. Glad to see you guys all doing well. All those ducks love to muddy up some water. 
There we go. If you're new to the channel, our big project we're gonna be building here, hopefully within a couple of weeks, is our post and beam barn kit. If you wanna know more about that, I'll put a link to a playlist right here of the post and beam barn kit. Uh, we're waiting for gravel to get delivered and then some dirt work and site work to get done. And then we can start building. We need to get our old lane graveled, turned into a driveway. We gotta wait for the road bands to come off. They just came off the other day. So now we're waiting for everything else to start. Come on Pluto, Figaro. I hear the bus, Livies. Have a good day at school. Good boy. She left you. Where she goes supposed to warm up and the sun's supposed to come out in a little bit so we'll get the ventilation going in the greenhouse. We don't want the meat birds overheating in the greenhouse. They can get warm pretty quick. The baby goats are doing so good. They can't wait for you to come home. I want to stay here. You want goats? I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. <laughs> don't get all the funness out of them. I'll try not to. I think it's time to give the meat birds a bigger waterer. This is our horizontal nipple waterer. The horizontal nipples are nice because you don't have to hang the bucket. We use that in our $30 chicken tractor. I'll put a link to the playlist right here for making the chicken tractor and for our water and our feeder that we use with the meat birds. I'm hoping within the next week or so we can get the chickens into the $30 chicken tractor out on pasture. I'm not sure what's up with our weather this year, but I feel like we're at least two weeks, if not a month, behind on colder temperatures. It should be a lot warmer and at least sunnier this time of the year. I hear you puppies. What are you up to? These might be a little bit of overkill, but this is all I have for cutters. We need a piece of chain for the nesting boxes. Always won't get a tight enough close on them to cut that bummer. Maybe these fencing pliers will work? I don't think it'll get in there. Yeah, let's see. Ooh. I keep telling myself I need to clean the nesting boxes and then I edit the video and I say, man, them nesting boxes are dirty. And I keep forgetting. I had to put it on a to-do list for today. Otherwise I forget stuff like that. Oh, I don't know if you're the same way or not, but I know I do that all the time. Yep. I figured there'd be a chicken or two in here. This nesting box is clean. That one's clean. We just gotta clean out these three. Look how dirty they are. had some old chains, but they weren't heavy duty enough, and they kept breaking, so.
Did you get the white chicken back in? You're proud of yourself, aren't you, Tanner? Oh, he left her alone right at the gate. Huh. I figured you'd got her in, Tanner. That works. I like it. Then we're going to drop it. Boom. We'll collect those eggs when Olivia gets home. Oh. You guys grazing in the grass? Is that some good stuff or what? This way, come on. We're gonna get Willow some chaff hay, which is fermented alfalfa hay chopped up. Then I'm gonna mix in some herbal dewormer. I'll have a link in the description down below where we buy this. Not an affiliate link or anything, just it's where we get it. Sprinkle a little bit in. The nice thing about the chaff hay, you mix in the dewormer and it sticks to it, and the goats can't separate it. So they don't even know they're eating it. Your girls want a little bit of chaff hay? Sprinkle a little bit right in on their hay. Give them a little treat. Right, Hope? Sorry, Blossom. Hey, Mama, how you doing? How your babies doing? Hey, babies. Oh, you eating some hay? You want some chaff hay? I'll switch your buckets. And I can stick all your other supplements in there too. There was some leftover milk made from this morning. She won't even know that she's eating it. Huh, little pea. Yeah. Give your mama all the good stuff and she don't even know it. Little man. Girls and boys are doing so good. Oh, you got such a faint little cry. Is that some good chaffe, hey, Willow? Alright. You're a good girl, little P. You a good girl. Yeah. Little man. How am I supposed to get any work done with all this cuteness, huh? Huh? Ah. Oh, little pee. Alright, we'll be back with Livy's. I gotta get some work done. Enjoy, Willow. Watch out. Watch out, Buttercup. We're going for a ride. Watch your foot. There you go. You piggies better with the fence now. Up. Oh, smoke too soon. <sighs> we know they're getting trained to it, guys. That's a good thing. One of the big things you want to look out for is you want to make sure when the pigs hit it, they back up and they don't try to go through the fence. And that's what those pigs are doing. And then they're going to the IBC tote, which to them is home, their safe place. I know we keep saying if they'll be starting the site work for the barn right down here shortly, fingers crossed. 
and we have a dog run down here around an old beehive we used to have. We thought about getting new bees this year, but we said we got enough stuff on our plate. We don't be not trying. We don't need to be trying to start some bees. So I want to take down this dog kennel. I'm not sure where we're gonna set it up yet. I'm gonna to have to wait to find out where Gina would like to set it up, and we can put Willow and her baby goats out in here when the days get nicer, and they'll be able to get some fresh air. So yeah, I come up with a way to secure this to the barn. Get in here and weed whack a little bit. Kind of doorway right there for them. Doesn't have to be that big. I think that'll work really good for them. That wasn't the plan. I was just supposed to take it down and set it up by the house somewhere, but. I think that's gonna work out even better. This way they can stay connected to the barn. They can have a run in and out, so if it rains, cause we all know it loves to rain around here. They can go in and out on their own and we don't have to worry about them getting wet or too cold. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna cook up a whole roasted sweet and sticky chicken. We're gonna roast it in the oven with some carrots, some potatoes, some onion, and some small sweet peppers. We're gonna be using a pasture-raised bird from farmfoodmarkets.com. On their website, they sell pasture-raised chicken, grass-fed meat, and pasture-raised pork. If you want to check out their website, there'll be a link in the description down below with a promo code with 10% off your order. The pasture-raised chicken we're going to be cooking up today is from Pastured Bird from California. They're the bugs, not drugs, guys. Justin Rhodes went and visited them on their Great American Farm Tour. If you go to farmfoodmarkets.com, there'll be a video of their farm actually a really great family story in why they got into raising pasture-raised chickens. <laughs> Than 
make the sticky glaze, we're going to use two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons molasses, and two tablespoons ketchup. Give that all a good stir. We got our pasture raised bird from farmfoodmarkets.com. I've let it defrost in the refrigerator overnight. Now I want to take it out. I want to give it a good pat dry. The drier we can get the bird, the more crispier the skin's going to be. This is a nice looking bird. I know there's probably some of you saying, but Al, you raised your own birds. Why are you cooking somebody else's? Well, there's a lot of people who watch our channel who don't raise their own pasture raised meat birds. And I wanted to show people where you can get your own and support an awesome farm. It's a nice family farm in California. Now I want to brush about half of our sticky mixture onto the chicken. We're going to save the other half and I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a little bit. The good coating on this bird. I'm going to take a little bit of butter, dab a little bit of butter on top of the chicken. Take a little bit of onion powder, half a teaspoon and a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna bake it in a 350 degree preheated oven. We got something for you, pork and chops. Wanna take the cover off? Not really. Oh, as soon as she took the cover off, you smelt it, huh? Oh, good stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm to get that onion peel and they're going to zap their nose. Nah, they won't go for that. Look at all that deliciousness getting turned into bacon. Nastiness. Mm -mm -mm. Deliciousness for them, but nastiness. Or it will be deliciousness for you when it's turned into bacon. Yeah, after, not right now. You girls want some hay? I got it right here for you. There you go. Ready to go in? Yeah. Quickly. Because Hope wants to come in. You can't, Hope, not yet. Hey, Willow. You want some grain? Oh yeah, you hungry girl, huh? That good stuff? You got little pee? Yeah. Oh, he's napping. He is. He's all comfy. You hanging out by mama? You're so silly. Oh, she just wants to take a nap on you. She does. So precious. Don't fall. Well, you're on me. Don't suck on your mother. <laughs> you gonna climb on your mama? No. Little P don't. What are you doing, huh? You napping? Well, you tired? Napping. Yeah, I can pet him. Still not feeling any horns. Yay! I'm thinking they're all pulled. That'd be nice. It would be. 
nice and warm in this spot, huh, there, Could Mister? Be hay must be. Cook. Must be. Because I don't, I don't think that they can chew milk cud. I wouldn't think milk would be a cud that they could chew, huh? Oh look, now she wants to jump up on Willow. Yep. Oh look, she's gonna jump down on her own maybe. <laughs> she's probably gonna be Ready, the she comes. So. I think she will be. I think she's the hope of the group. Yeah. Mischievous and adventurous. And cute. Yes, and cute. Just like hope. Not that big of a jump, but oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. You're a silly little pea. Wow. You want to say hi to the camera? Okay, well, I'll leave you and your little babies to be. We'll be back out later. Is it you that poop rolls in the bucket? Pop it off. Yep. Oh, crazy white chicken. You decided to come over and have some food scraps with the pigs. Oh, Moose, what are you doing? He could if he wanted to. Get to try out our chain now. Ready? Boom. <laughs> then we can. Oh man, somebody cracked an egg. Guess I should have got all the eggs out earlier. Huh. Gross. Yep, there she be. Look how orange that yolk was. It looks like butter. One fresh laid egg. You scaring the chickens? It's <clears throat> coming around this way. Doing laps. You're doing laps, man. Tanner, to the house. Let's go to the house. Just got back in from doing the chores, and man, that roasted chicken smells so good. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, yes, it does.
We like the Californian chicken. That chicken gets more sun than our chickens get. Put the vitamin C in it. <laughs> vitamin, vitamin D. D. Oh, D. D. I don't even know what it, vitamin is anymore. She loves the attention. You get all skittish. Hey, don't bite me, that hurts. That doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It's so friendly. Little P's been waiting for you all day. I've been waiting for you all day, too. I've been waiting to see you. Oh, come on, I want to hold you. I know, you don't like it. You don't like it. He's so quiet. She is so silly. She's going to be the hope of the bunch. Mm, just crawling all yeah, over you. I'll be like that, huh? You kiddo is thirsty or what? One on each side, yeah, Willow. Give a mama a neck massage. That chicken sticky glaze was delicious. I didn't use the leftover of the glaze. I was supposed to make like a gravy to go on it, but I thought it was going to be good the way it was, and it was. I want to leave you guys with one last quote. I believe I said it in Saturday's video, but it's a new quote, and I just love it. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. Man, sometimes in life we just need a new perspective. It is crazy what happens if we just shift our thinking like 180 degrees and that saying is one of them. Life is happening for us, not to us. Hope you guys had a great day. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. We're so glad you're here on our journey with us and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.